Hello everyone, I'm No Life, and this is your third weekly dose of 5 digits. One of the current tourneys finally finished their matches, bringing us our first winning team of 2023, and I won't hold you back any longer, so let's get started. First up, there are new registrations on the block as usual, one of them being the Chim Champs tourney, also known as TCC3, from rank 20k onto 70k onto January 28th. The Chill Out Cup for tw rank 20k and above, and the registration deadline is unknown as of now. Dynasty Cup Season 1 for the entirety of 5 digits onto February 12th. And finally, the Speedy Cup from rank 10k up to 90k onto February 4th. There are also a couple of other very important registration deadlines, such as NCUQL's Draft Cup from rank 50k above for Mandarin-speaking countries up until January 18th, Maxwell's Tourney Series 1 from rank 50k up to 150k until January 20th, and Tayuno's Stand-Up Cup 2 for the entirety of 5 digits until January 21st. And most importantly, the 5-digit World Cup. Individual registrations end on January 22nd and screening will take place for 2 weeks until February 5th and the team assembly deadline will be on February 12th, 2359 UTC with the qualifiers map will showcase taking place the day after. For US players, please contact Tonacious 8351 for tryouts information and for players from other countries, there's a tab in the 5WC main sheet for more tryout details for your own country. Before we cover the active tourneys, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Do you want to be the healthiest OSU 5 digit? Fulfilling your New Year's resolutions to build muscles to be as fast as they turn up? Don't worry, HelloFresh is here for you with several meat and vegan options for your liking that come fresh to your doorstep every week just like my weekly videos. And preparation time doesn't take long, it takes as much time as when referees say match in 15, in fights in 10. You can use my link in the description below or go to hellofresh.com and use the code POGHF23504 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. There are a whole lot of tourneys to go through, including other ones I haven't covered in my previous videos, so let's get on to it. First up, there's Tourney Hub Cup. Their qualifiers is happening right now as we speak. The featured artist tourney, they'll be releasing their qualifiers pool tomorrow or Monday. White Ducks Country Clash, same thing with their qualifiers, they're happening right now and all the teams are finally assembled. And Secret Box Tourney, their gimmick round is 1v1ing their own teammate. Cranky Crazy 90s Cup are in round of 16 right now. Vipens RNG Fest are doing their round of 32. Spin Will Cup, their own gimmick is sight reading qualifiers. And finally, the MILF's tourney, which is on its grand finals, with the last two surviving players being Roy Schultz and Kisoy. And the match is scheduled at Sunday 18 UTC, which I'll cover in next week's video. The other three tourneys I haven't covered so far in my previous videos are 5 digit Olympic pool scramble, each country will assemble their own map pool for the others to play in qualifiers. New Zealand 5-digit tourney which is in its qualifiers right now and Ancient Tournament which is in round of 32. And with the other tourneys off the way, 
we finally have our first completed tourney of 2023, which is Bobo's Spooky Halloween Cup. The matchup of the Grand Finals is a finals rematch between Senpai Geo Milk, hailing from the winner's bracket, and Sandy Repix from the loser's bracket, where they previously won 7 5 against Weepy heading into this match. Oh, yeah, miss again. This is not what they want. I think this is it. No coming back. We have our winner who's going to face Senpai Geo Milk in Grand Finals tomorrow. Eurypix, even without Ilya, even without Sige, which I screened, they won, they managed to do it. 2v4, I believe? As we get the highlights underway, the bans for both teams are Nomad 1 and DT3 from Senpai Geo Milk, and Nomad 7 Hard Rock 2 from Sandy Pigs. And right off the gate, Senpai Geo Milk capitalizes off of Waffle's uncomfy aim, bringing the match to 3 0. This match is hard. It is, but only Waffle and Thumbs are finding break. Oh, oh break. Zilva left in the lobby. Or Zilva. He's alone. No, it did have an no. early break, so. Papa oh, Zilva broke on no. the screen. Green in my A map. Jacko actually with the S rank still, so it was just a slider break. Feeling confident, sent by Geo pick DT2, but not knowing it's the least aim focused map, send Yuri picks snatch a point out of them right back, bringing them their first break point. Sent by Geo on like uh, higher star map, they have higher skill caps to win. Yeah. Perhaps. Maybe this is an indication that they should go into tapping. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I like the. It's actually getting close. Ah, but Jacko breaks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Such so a short map. I was say, I, I like the pick from Senpai Geo Milk, but they just couldn't perform, unfortunately. I don't like the pick at all. Oh, like. nice. Turns out, it was just a speed warm up for Senpai Geo Milk. As after Sandyuri picks, picked Nomad 5, Jacko carried the map after getting the third breakpoint in a row from both teams this match. Yeah. It's not a bad idea from Sandyuri picks considering they want these to do, but unfortunately right. it didn't work out as they both broke in that one section before the break. Apparently, D2, break. Uh, apparently DT2 was a hiccup from Blue Team. Mm -hmm. Four breakpoints in a row. No, 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 not no, in a row. Um, Four breakpoints in general. It was three. Yeah. Currently 4 1, Senpai Geo Milk picked Hidden 2 and won their pick, bringing them to 5 1. But after Senyuri picks, picked 3 mod 3, an entertaining mod battle is happening, but on the opposite mods. Enemy? Oh, it's not as Tom's. We have the only one well. holding. Probably just gonna have to stay. So close. Yeah, Grace Cross and Jacko. 300k on harder. 400k on harder. Grace Cross. Kind of insane. My score was uh, 150k, so. Yeah, these players are amazing. This guy just like comboed like 60% of them with harder. Yeah. Zuba also getting a pretty nutty score with On the brink of elimination from 6 to 2, Sandyuri picks select Hidden 3, and another clutch save from Silva keeps their chances alive for one more map. It's gonna turn over. It's so it's close. Gonna, it's gonna it's gonna no, awful break! Oh, that's it. That, it's over. I think it's oh no. Thumbs oh, is no. just so close! No, so Thumbs close. misses! Oh, both double break? No. Oh my god! Oh, no shot! 14k! Wow. Eurypix is two in the game. One second. Both A ranks? I'll send you Eurypix. There's two matches to go here. Okay. 
After that, Sanguri picks are getting comfy on Hidden One as they're about to get another breakpoint to survive, but Tom's spoils their plans with the biggest surprise of this match. Okay. There's no way he has seen this. This part is hard, but he's holding. He is. Oh my god. He's doing it. Oh, that's it? Oh, wow, that's, he got it. it. Wow. Damn. What a score from him. I've seen the whole ending of the map. Wow. Wow. Tom's is just built it? different. That's it. Oh my god. Man. I did not wow. expect that actual ending. Here. Crazy ending from Tom's. The only one I've seen the ending. GG's to send you repicks as they walk away with second place. Good showing from both Waffle and especially Silva who put up a good fight. And congratulations to your first winners of 2023. Senpai Geo Milk, consisting of Senpai Geo himself, Jackal, and Toms. And for the last two, it was their first ever tournament win. What a great start to their tourney season! The farm map I chose for this week is the Incredible Food Groove. And I swear this is not intentional with my sponsor. And this is a burst plus slider aim focused map with 209 pp for DTSS and 227 pp for hidden double time. And with the same mods, you can get 193 pp for 99% ank. And that's it for this week. Next week will be even more spicy with all of the World Cup style tourneys happening right now and MILF's Grand Finals. But with that, on to the next one.